What's going on guys, it's the Game Explorer here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install iGameGuardian on your iOS devices. Now to do this we are going to need a jailbroken iOS device, so if you don't know how to jailbreak your iPhone or iPad, go ahead and search on YouTube for how to jailbreak your version. Currently my version is 12.4, uh, so go ahead and search YouTube for how to, down, how to jailbreak uh, iOS 12.4, I'm using the Uncovered, um, which I'm pretty sure most people will be using. And as you can see right here, it says 12.4, uh, and that's my version, what I'm on now. So go ahead and hit the jailbreak button, and once you've got it all jailbroken, you should get Cydia installed. And once you have Cydia installed, you can install our game Guardian. So what we're going to do is go ahead and launch Cydia. Uh, and once that's open, we're going to go ahead and click down at the bottom where it says Sources. And then at the top, it says Edit and then we're going to add a new source. So click the add button. And as you can see, the actual um, repo that we're gonna add is right here. Uh, so it is uh, aqua wu.github.io forward slash igg forward slash and just go ahead and click add source. And once that's done, it will go ahead and add the IgG source there. So go ahead and click the done at the top and then click on the IgG icon right there. And then you can go ahead and click all packages. Uh, and I'm going to install IgG 12 speed. It does actually say once you open it up, um, please try IgG 12 speed first. Uh, and if that doesn't work, you can then try the stable. Um, so now this uh, iGame Guardian does cost uh, $3.99 US dollars. Um, so what we're going to have to do is go ahead and purchase that and once we've purchased it we can go ahead and register and download the app. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and skip ahead uh, as I purchase a license and once I've got that we'll get back into it. Okay so now I've purchased it what we're going to need to do is go ahead and make a copy of the receipt number which is uh, right here and the link for the purchase details that's going to be needed for the next step so go ahead and just select and copy that and then go ahead and click back on the details okay so now we've got our paypal transaction id number what we're going to do is go ahead and paste it into this box right here so just click on that and then click on the little clipboard icon here if you have that um i found when i'm clicking and pasting just double tapping and pasting it's crashing the app so once that's done anyway we've got it pasted in there we're going to go ahead and add, add our mac address uh, sorry our wi-fi mac address and our bluetooth mac addresses and we can find them by going back and going into our settings uh, and then into general and then into the about and at the bottom here you will see your Wi-Fi address and your Bluetooth address and what we're going to just do is go ahead and click and hold on them and click the copy button as you can see the actual they are sequential so you'll need to copy one of them uh, mine ends E0 there and E1 for the Bluetooth so I'm going to go back and then back into Cydia and I'm just going to go ahead and paste in my address again using a little paste icon there and then for the Bluetooth, same again, paste icon, but just delete that zero and change it to a one. Uh, and then my email address, um, I'm using the email address that I used uh, for my PayPal. I don't know if it needs to be the same, but that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. And then click register. And as you can see, Eigen Guardian registration successful. Uh, so now we've got that, we need to go ahead and install the application. So click the install button at the top right and confirm. and return to Cydia. 
Okay, so now we've got our Game Guardian installed and it does launch, um, as you can see. We also uh, probably going to need another a multitasking application so we can run our Game Guardian in the foreground and have our games uh, in the background. So what we're going to do is go ahead and add the Milky Way um, application. So we'll go ahead, back into Cydia, into our sources and just click the edit button again. Click add and we're actually going to add the source. You can see the top of my list right there. Uh, and I'll, but I will add it again. So it is a k u s i o dot github dot io, and then add source. Let that go ahead and run its package downloads. Once that's complete, just click the return to Cydia button and click the done button at the top, and then just click on the repo itself. Uh, and then you can click on all packages and at the bottom you will see Milky Way. Go ahead and click that and click the uh, install button which will be at the top. I've already got it installed. But go ahead and click the install button and confirm. Let that go ahead and download. And restart the springboard. Now that's done, we can go back and... Okay, now that's installed, what we can do is go ahead and make sure we launch our iGame Guardians and our games. And then we can just double click on the home button and just click and hold on the application we want at the front, which is going to be our iGame Guardian, which is there. Click and hold on it and it should pop out onto a separate um, display like this. And then we can also launch our games in the background. Um, and select our applications then go ahead and crack on and we can use both individually uh, or independently of each other so I can go ahead and check any anything that needs to be done within the game uh, as well as dragging the uh, the application out of the way so I can see what I need to see so that's it guys um, it's not too complicated but um, it is easy to get lost with this sort of stuff uh, if you do get stuck or you need any help go ahead and jump onto my discord channel there's lots of people in there that are always happy to help and they'll do whatever they can to make life easier for you guys and just a side note um, I did forget to mention at the start of the video that I do have a new YouTube channel um, where this video will be posted along with all my other Android videos uh, will be recreated for iOS uh, and posted to my new Game Guardian iOS channel. So go ahead and check that out. There's a link in the description. Feel free to su subscribe if you're on iOS. Although most of my hacks will be on Android first, uh, I do intend to try and recreate them all using iGame Guardian uh, on iOS for anybody who has requested that in the past. So that's it, guys. This has been The Game Exploiter. Happy hacking!
Whoa.